The Daily Show with Kelly. Oh, it's snowing. Quick, Kelly, get your winter coat out. After all, snowflakes travel at the speed of one to four miles per hour to reach us, so you should hurry too. Today, we're going to figure out what the deal with snow is and why it doesn't leave us indifferent. Prepare to be amazed. Each snowflake is unique. You've probably heard that one before, but this myth was debunked in 1988. After a storm in Wisconsin, two identical snowflakes were discovered. Maybe you can look for snowflake twins this winter too. You'll have a field day with this, for sure. Since about one septillion of snow white crystals descend down on the US alone, can you guess the number for the entire world? Drop your suggestion in the comments section. According to some sources, in January 1887, people in Montana's Fort Cal saw some incredible snowflakes, 15 inches wide. Witnesses described them as being larger than milk pans. Speaking about record breaking, the largest amount of snowfall was registered in Capricotta in southern Italy. In 2015, the village was buried under 100 inches of snow in just 18 hours. Still, what is it about the snow that we like so much? It's obvious, snow means fun. Who doesn't like making snow angels? People in North Dakota set a record for making the largest amount of snow angels at the same time. 8,962 people took part in this unusual event. Oh, and remember snowball fights? By the way, one of the biggest such battles happened in Seattle in 2013, with 5,834 people taking part in it. People who prefer something more relaxed can always opt to build a snowman and also have the chance to go down in history, like they did in Bethel, Maine, by building a 122-foot snow giant. Kelly wants to beat this record. Do you think you can do it too?